So hey people of the universe, today I'm going to show you how I got my Spotify to rapidly increase in a month. I reached about 56k I think um, streams in the last 28 days, which is pretty much 56,000 more. So there's several things that went into me getting to this point. Uh, first of all, look at this graph! One of the things that I did was I looked for people to add me to their playlists. And this meant bigger playlists. Now there are services online where you can buy it out, where you can basically buy a place, or you can um, spend money on things like Groover or uh, SubmitHub. But these websites, they work on a way where if you're not like the best, you don't really get added. So what you want to do is you want to look for the more low tier ones. The playlist with generally a few thousand likes and then just ask to be added because they, they will actually look for this and you can even strike deals with them like oh I'll may mention your playlist here or I'll do this there or I'll somehow link something that you want me to link networking is very important in any sort of social media thing um, so I don't I don't necessarily recommend buying things out especially if you don't have a budget for buying out playlists or buying out uh, advertisement spots, things like that. Uh, also, it can actually damage you if you do it with the wrong people, because some of them have like just bot playlists, where it's just bots playing them. But Spotify can tell, and then you don't get into the Spotify algorithms. Now, in order to get the Spotify algorithms, one of the best things to do is to release on Thursdays. If you have your uh, songs released on Thursdays, you get to actually um you actually you get in into people's um friday's release radars because those happen on friday so it's a very good thing to uh schedule things to be released on thursday so <laughs> uh well whilst this is a big milestone for me I do know that there's a little bit of a decline lately because I haven't really been sure about my music. I'm going to be honest, a lot of my music that I've been making in the last sorry, two uh, weeks um, pretty much has been just been me not really feeling it because I've been going through a lot of bad things um, which is kind of also kind of shaping my music the way it is now and it's probably going to change the way my better music is going to be. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more angry music because I feel a lot more anger and frustration. And you know, that's very important because I do think people are more gravitating towards the music that they feel is genuine. So you got to make sure you do that. Now, my music, I use a lot of the same patterns, um, like the motorized do 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 And this is very similar to what All City does, um, which is the ones that made Fireflies. Or, for example, um, Jason Walker from, I think he was from like a TV show or something, Down uh, by Jason Walker and Molly Reed, I think. Um, which also has that, that same like strumming pattern, like do, 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 do. It's kind of different. But I do still like to have like very similar things, and these are very common like patterns that they use in music. Uh, you know, I think personally like those patterns help me kind of like stick to a rhythm, because I like marching rhythms and I like skipping rhythms, where it feels like you take two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. I love that sort of like motorized function. And what that also does, it's, it's actually been shown in psychological studies done by, I wanna say, 
I forgot. It's a university, but I forgot. I know I, I'm not gonna just name something, but uh, there were studies done that actually show that these sorts of patterns actually make music more addictive to people. Same thing like the, the marching thing. So that's one of the, the influences into my music that I've been adding a lot more of. And to add similarity between the patterns in your own songs. But the problem is eventually you kind of use them up and you're like, okay, well, how do I make it more original? And you kind of have to experiment with that. Because um, there's only so much you can do. One of the other things I do that's very different is I like to create a sub-melody line. Which means like a melody line, but that doesn't follow necessarily the melody of the parts that I'm singing. Um, it's kind of like harmonization, but not in every part. And the goal of that is that I want my music to be available both in instrumental version and singing version. Does that decrease the quality? Maybe. I'm not certain, but I'm going to stick to this because I personally really enjoy this. I like being able to write the music and have like these different um, lines coming together, these different tracks. Um, so, besides those things, you know, those are all like very valid things. One more thing I got to tell you is don't be afraid to step outside of the bounds in the sense that like Spotify does recommend pop songs more, but if you get into a certain niche and it recognizes that, it's going to suggest you a lot more within that niche. So it might actually be beneficial if you feel more comfortable with a certain niche to just kind of like either stick to it or to um, experiment with it, but also like kind of like go back to it every once in a while, which is kind of like what I'm doing. Like I've been experimenting with heavier stuff for a while now, but I originated with like the more lullaby songs and the calmer songs. Um, classical music is one thing that I was really big about. So yeah, now also you can see my, my followers have also increased. Um, which is, you know, great, but it's it's not as substantial as the streams. And that's it. actually the more important thing is going to be followers, because they're going to be returning. So whilst my streams are high, currently my followers aren't that high. And if you look at all these songs, how many saves they have, that's also important, saves, because that means people like them and want to keep them, and want to keep listening to them again and again. So that's another important factor. So that's how I did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, check out my other videos and leave in the comments down below um, what you think of my music, but also leave, leave your music in the comments and maybe not in links, but try to like just give an artist name and a song name together. And uh, yeah, let's all look at each other's comments. Let's uh, look at each other's music. Um, thank you for watching, drink a water. See you next time.